How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffled Rowlet, and welcome back to the My Pokemon Region series. We are back in episode 4 today, and it's been exciting creating this region for you guys. And I want to talk about a few things prior to this episode starting. It's going to be a long episode today. Got a lot of things to go through. The new city, the new gym leader, quote-unquote. You'll see what's going to happen there. Also, the evil team. We have the grunts created, and we have a Pokedex created as well. So there's a lot of things to do, guys. I'm going to go through all of that in this episode, but also I want to tell you guys about one really important thing. Now, please do remember this. We are not making a Pokemon fan game. We are making a region. Now, a lot of people keep asking me, when's this going to be playable? And I'm telling you, it's not going to be playable. This is not a game that I'm creating because I'm not good at programming. I'm not good at making games. If I plan to do this into a game in the future, and when I say future, we're talking maybe like next, sometime next year, if I have enough people with me. If I do it then, sure, we'll do it. Go right ahead. It will be fun if I had enough people to help me with that. But at the moment, I do not have the skills nor the time to do something like that. My only purpose with this is just to have fun and make a region with you all and just have a good time. But if, like I said, if it goes well and you guys enjoy this series enough and it goes that well that we actually can take time over to the side and work on this as an actual fan game, then sure, I'll gladly do it. But right now, that's not the plan. I just want to point it out because a lot of people keep asking. Either way, what are we going to do today, guys? Like I said, there's a lot of things to go through. So I think the first thing we're going to do today is actually tell you about our freaking evil team and our city. So I guess the first thing we can do is introduce the evil team. So first up, we're going to have ourselves the Team Dynasty Grunt. Now, these designs were created by the Light Sword, and as you know, Light Sword creates so many sprites that we have. And the reason why I feature so many of this individual's sprites is because this person always sends in a bunch of them 24-7. And I'm like, oh my god, there's so many! And I just try to include as many as possible because they're amazing and so well made and so, so unique, and I just love them. And here you can see our Team Dynasty Grunt. We have the female on the left side here and the male on the right side, and these are essentially our pawns or quote-unquote grunts what do you want to call them but either way these are gonna be the lowest tier you know in the evil team and what we're gonna do is since this team is based basically on chess and you know like if you have a chess board you have different you know uh, pawns and whatnot that you can have on the on actual chess board but we're gonna have essentially you know there being a king and a queen as the evil team leaders and then other people below them like the admins are gonna be certain people and whatnot and we're gonna basically build it in that sort of style and these Pokemon we're just gonna have a Pokemon by the way just so you guys know that's gonna be based on like these pawns from chess so there's gonna be a thing like that coming I'm just trying to get a des nice design together but either way that's happening but overall this team dynasty de these team dynasty grunts are essentially looking like this this is what they look like they're in the red and black armor now why do they have this sort of armor on them well like I said we're basing this off of like you know knights and whatnot and like you know uh little thing of a king and a you know queen and whatnot they'd have knights protecting them and these are the pawns quote unquote knight uh, knight pawns or whatever you want to call them and they have knight armor on them which i so 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 love it is so well made and having that tabard on their on their front with the d for dynasty is just perfect this is definitely the best design i've ever seen for a grunt and i just love it so much and i hope you guys do enjoy this and do like this if you like this sort of grunt style please let me know down in the comments do you like this do you think it looks nice do you like the grunts if you don't let me know why but if you do like them then let me know also why? What do you think is good about them? Overall, this is going to be our grunts, our evil team, and as for Team Dynasty, what are they doing in a city right here? Well, you see, Team Dynasty has control of half of our map, our region, so to quote unquote, of the Rowan region. And now what they're doing in this area right now is they're trying to get themselves a bunch of dark type Pokemon. Because there are dark type Pokemon in this gym. There's a gym here, and there are actually two gym leaders in this gym. There's not one, but a couple, a couple of gym leaders, a wife and a husband together owning this gym and you gotta help them out as a trainer as a trainer from the Rowan region you gotta help these out them out essentially the gym leaders or fight alongside the grunts against the gym leaders to steal their Pokemon. So it's your choice as a player what you do. So I would love to know down below guys would you fight with the grunts or with the gym leaders against these people so I'm wondering let me know down there. Either way these are our grunts so let's move on to the next part of this video. So next up, we actually have ourselves our gym leader duo, and now this was created, now the first image here, as you can see, the first sprite was created, and that's the male, was created by the light sword, and the second one was actually created by Eric O. Now, these are basically a couple. These two trainers, or these two gym leaders, are a couple, and what's happening now in this city, and they're both dark type, dark type gym leaders, just so you know, so they'll be fighting together with one Pokemon each, as far as I'm kind of considered, actually no, two Pokemon each, that's what we're kind of going for, but um, 
either way, what they're essentially doing is they are going to be protecting their Pokemon and their gym from the Team Dynasty Grunts that are coming there to steal their Dark type Pokemon that they need for their big, big plan. So you make the choice, like like previously mentioned, you gotta help them and make the choice. Now I'd love to know, guys, what do you think would be a cool team for these characters to have? Like, what would be four Pokemon do you give individual to individually to these characters? I'd love to know. And soon we'll get into our own Pokedex for our region, so you'll see what Pokemon we have there. You can pick out a few and give them to give it to them. But let me know down there, guys. And also, we haven't picked out names for these guys yet. I haven't picked any names for them. I'd love to know, guys, what should these two be called? Let me know down in the comments. But that's gonna be it for this part. Those are our gym leaders for our gym. Now let's go over to the next part of the video. Now, before we get into the new city and the new map, I wanted to show you guys this. We actually got a really cool professor created by Thomas Luca, and this is going to be the professor known as Sakura. Now, yes, this might be a bit too much on the Naruto side, but I saw this and I was like, oh my god, a female freaking oh, professor that has pink hair and a pink freaking lab coat is actually adorable. I love it. Now I was like, you know what? Let's go with it. So Sakura is our professor. I do like this a lot. I love this design. And Thomas Luca, my man, you just outdid yourself here, man. Thank you so much for this. But either way, that's it for that part. Now let's move on to the actual city. And coming next, guys, going to be our big first city and this is going to be based in Germany and the name of the city is going to be Mönlinburg City. Now the reason for this name is going to be coming from this individual here called Lenis Sim who created it by mixing the areas known as München, Berlin and Hamburg and these are all different cities in Germany. She mixed them all together and then made this name. Mönlinburg City and I do like that actually a lot. It's a really cool mixture of all these things and essentially what this area has is the dark type gym. If you look around, I did spend a lot of time trying to make the map look as or the area actually look pretty good and now there are a few flaws I know I should be adding more props and whatnot overall, overall like just around the area but as you can see it's a pretty old city it's pretty grony there's got there's a bit like you know it's not skyscrapers but big urban you know buildings and whatnot it's not broken down it's a very old sort of city with a very advanced gym though inside the gym I haven't created yet but I'm gonna create an inside of the gyms in the future but inside the gym is gonna be very unique and you'll see what I mean because I've been working on it on the sideline and you're gonna see how the gym looks when you're inside but overall, this is going to be the map itself. We do have a Pokemon Center and a Pokemon Mart. You guys can enter and get yourself, you know, healed up, buy a few Pokeballs and whatnot or whatever you need. And there's also a specific little house down there where you can actually meet and go to, you know, essentially these gym leaders. They live in the bottom house next to the Pokemart. So that's where you can go and check them out if you want to talk to them outside in the storyline sort of stuff, you know, later on. If we do create this, create this into a game. But for now, it's a region, as you all know. Either way, this is what we got ourselves. And that's going to be it for the map, guys. I do hope you do like the map, guys. It took a long time to put this together. And if you do like it, let me know down below. And also, if you like the name, let me know as well. Because thank you guys for suggesting so many different ones. It was really hard to choose a good name because you guys had so so many suggestions it was actually insane but i want to thank you all for submitting them and it was really cool just looking through what we had and what kind of options that existed but either way let's continue to the next part of video lads and now we're going to be taking a look at our Pokédex. Now, before I get started about the Pokédex, guys, I want to explain a few things. So the Pokédex here that I'm going to show you is going to be our Fakemon Pokédex. So we're not going to include the real Pokémon that exists in the region. We're just going to include the Fakemon from our region in this Pokédex. Now, do remember the other Pokémon, the original Pokémon from Pokémon itself, they do still exist in the region. You can still find them in the grass and whatnot. But these ones in this Pokédex itself are going to be only Fakemon. Now, I do hope you guys are excited for this because there were so many to include and I did include every single one of them and I wasn't able to include a lot of evolutions but I will be including them in future episodes and I'll be showing the Pokedex throughout each episode and you guys will be able to see how it's improved and how it's changed and maybe I'll even set up a little thing where you guys can just you know check it out whenever you want to but either way that's what I'd say for that guys now let's take a look at our actual Pokedex and first up we have ourselves Twinehound. And now this is supposed to be number one spot, but I accidentally put it on number seven because I, I, I put it on number seven spot on the Pokedex. I forgot the grass types usually tend to be the first on your Pokedex, but who cares? Either way, the first up is going to be Twinehound. Then next up, oh, actually no, before we go to the next one, Twinehound, as you guys know maybe from the previous videos, is actually our region's actual starter, one of our starters. It's going to be the grass starter in our region. It's a little like dog or wolf 
uh, grass type, which is really cool. I just, I was so, like, happy when I saw this. And this was originally created by the Mine Emerald, and then also this new sprite was created by the Light Sword based on a artwork by another designer, another creator that sent, you know, a piece of art and said, yo, make this wolf into, you know, make this dog into this sort of design. It would be cooler. And I was like, you know what, let's go for it. But the Mine Emerald cre created the original one, so 100% props to that guy. And then Light Sword created this specific sprite right here, so I've got to give them both props. And everybody, just thank you so much for the support, guys. You're amazing when you create these things. But either way, next up we have ourselves Frog Rupt, which is created by the Light Sword. Now, this is our little fire-spitting frog. I love this thing so much. It is so adorable. It's going to be next up, it's going to be the fourth place uh, on the Pokedex because it comes after Twinehound. So this thing is essentially a little frog that just shoots fire. It's, it's our fire starter. Yeah, I know it's a frog, but then again, it's. I think it works. I think it's cool. So this is, thing is going to be in competition with something like, I don't know, you know, eventually with Greninja and whatnot. So it would be pretty cool to see, you know, a fire frog, frogger up final evolution fighting against a Greninja. It would be so cool to see that. But either way, that's also created by Light Sword. So huge shout out to Light Sword because this individual creates so many cool sprites. Next up, though, we have our third evolution, our final evolution, actually, no, starter, uh, starter Pokemon <laughs> in our actual region. It's going to be Sarqua. Now, Sarqua is also created by Light Sword, and this thing is a shark water type. This is a, a, a bipedal, I guess, shark like shark Pokemon. This is actually the first shark Pokemon that I can think of that actually stands on its two feet because this just looks so weird. But either way though, this thing is badass. The Light Sword really outdid did themselves like when when you created this, you just did crazy. This is actually incredible. I love it so much. But either way, uh, next up we have ourselves a Pokemon that we actually do not have a name for. This was created created by Grant Cumberbl Cumberly. And basically what this Pokemon is right here is a little cat that essentially is a dark and electric type as far as understood from the email I got. I can't remember exactly what the way he put it, but he wanted to have three typings on it, but I'm just going to go with two for now. Uh, dark electric, I think it would be good, but I want to know, guys, what do you think this thing should be called? Do you think it should be called anything specific that you have in mind? So give me a name for this. I would love to know down in the comment section below. Give me a good name for this thing. I would love to know what you guys have in mind. Either way, next up we have its actual evolution, so I would love to know a name for its evolution as well. So do you have a name for evolution? Do you think there is anything good in your mind you can come up with? I would love to know, guys. But either way, that's his evolution. It's a larger version. It just looks, you know, bigger, like a bigger cat, essentially. Kind of like Persian and, you know, uh, you, have, you have yourself Persian and Meowth, you know, you, just kind of that sort of thing going here. But though, I do love it. I love cat Pokemon. They're always nice. But that's also created by Kang, uh, Grant, sorry, uh, Cubberly. So, Cubberly, dude, thank you so much for creating this. It's actually amazing. Thank you. Either way, like, next up, we have ourselves the bird Pokemon. Now, a lot of you guys were complaining saying what typing this is going to be, like, why would you make a dark typing? Well, I wanted to make dark typing, and the thing is, it's not going to have any normal typing. Usually, the bird Pokemon tend to have normal typing, but we're going to remove that and have this Pokemon right here, and its name, by the way, is Frybird, which I just think is a cool name. I went with that, um, but I, this thing is going to be a dark flying all the way from the start. It's going to be a dark flying Pokemon the moment it is born. There is no other things in between. There is no normal typing on it. I just want it to be that way. I know it's a bit orthodox. I'm sorry about that. That's just the way I want it to be. If you don't agree with me, please let me know down in the comment section, but I do think this is the best way to go about I do like it this way. Either way, next up we have ourselves the evolution of Frybird, and it's going to be a Vungelbird, and this is essentially its evolution that also is a dark flying type Pokemon, and this is just a stronger and bigger version of it, which also does look cool. It also was created by the Light Sword. Either way, next up we have ourselves a our little bugger. Now, this was also created by Light, uh, Light Sword, and this is Silkerm. And Silkerm, uh, this name came from Cole LeCount, who created this name and basically based it on like silk and you know little worms and whatnot, which is a cool little mixture. And I do think this is one of the most adorable things ever. It's really, really adorable. And then we have its evolution, uh, Fusili. And this is also, like I said previously mentioned, the Light Sword created essentially this full evolution line. And this name also came from Cole LeCount. And then next up, we have ourselves the final evolution, Mothisti. And then again, this was also a name that basically. Cole account came up with, so that's where the name came from. And of course, guys, remember if I ever ask you to suggest a name, just leave it down in the comment section. I'd love to know what you guys come up with, and always leave it in the comment section. That's the best way for me to find them. Anyway, next up, we have ourselves a Pokemon by Hun Rise. Now, Hun Rise here is a really cool sprite artist, and this individual created this little bud thingy here. I don't even 
know what it is, but it looks adorable. It's actually so, so cute. And I want to know, guys, what should this thing be called? So, Hunrise, thank you for this, dude. It's such a cool Pokemon. I do love the way it looks. And I want to know what you guys think. What would be a cool name for this? Next up, though, we have its evolution as well. And I don't know what this thing should be called either. So, guys, come up with some names. What should this evolution line and this Pokemon be called? I'd love to know. And again, Hunrise, dude, thank you so much for the submission. Your sprite work is amazing. Thank you. Then next up, we actually have another piece of work from Hunrise. And I want to know what you guys think this thing should be called. Now, I don't know what a cool name for this would be, but it's essentially a fairy type Pokemon. This is a fairy type and I think a normal type. I can't remember exactly if that's what he, what he said, but, but I'm going to go with fairy type because that's what I assume is the best thing and what he chose. And then we do have actually its evolution as well, created by Hunrise. And this thing, I want to know a name for it as well. Now, I don't know if we're going to add any typings to it. If you guys think there should be any typing added, then let me know down there as well. I'd love to know what you guys have in mind. But next up, we have ourselves a really cra just crazy looking Pokemon created by Eric O. Now, I don't know if this is based on a kangaroo, but it's called Suricat. Suricat, or Suricat, I don't know if you want to call that. It's number 25 on the Pokedex, and this thing is essentially a fighting type Pokemon. It's a little fighting type. It's adorable. I think it looks cute as hell. And then its evolution here is Chakikata, and this thing is essentially a, as far as I remember, I think this is a ground fighting type. Um, and it looks pretty badass, though. It doesn't look like a kangaroo in this one. The previous one looked a bit like a kangaroo, but I do like this the way the way this just looks. It's actually adorable and so cute. I love it. And I think this would be a cool Pokemon just to have in your team. But that's going to be it for the Pokedex for today, guys. I do hope you like these Pokemon on the list. They really are amazing, and we've got to have a lot more in the future, guys. There's so many more Pokemon coming, so be ready for that. But that's it for the Pokedex. Now, next up, I have a question for you guys. Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen, so coming up next is going to be a little vote thingy for you guys. Now, I want you all to press the button in the top right corner. There's a button in the top right corner where you guys can press and actually vote for which country we should work on next. Now, we worked on Germany in all these episodes. We've based our region start in Germany. Now, I want to move on and start working on either one of these three countries here. So, we can start working on either the Netherlands Denmark or Sweden and I want you all to press the button up there and vote for which country you want us to work on next. Now, I'm going to have to work on these no matter what. So don't think this is not a vote choosing which country we should do. No, we're going to do all these countries. They're all going to be in the region, but I want to know which one we should start with. Which one do you think we should do next? And we'll do all these afterwards. You know what I mean? We'll do Sweden. If you guys vote, let's say Sweden, then we do Sweden first, and then we do Denmark and, you know, whoever came second and whatnot. We'll do them one by one. You know what I mean? Eventually, we'll do the UK, France, Belgium, Bosnia, Croatia, all these countries, Italy, Spain, all these countries will be done eventually. We'll get past them all, but I want you all to vote for which one you want to see next. So press the button in the top right corner. There should be a thing on the screen telling you where. Press the little button and vote. I'd love to know what you guys think would be a good thing to go with. But that's going to be it for that part, guys. And now let's go to the final part of the video. Now, coming next, guys, is going to be the map progress we've made. Now, there's not much to show other than the new city that's been added right there. So, you guys know we have a new city made, and that's about it. All I have to say for that, we have not really made any more progress on the map itself. We're going to be moving on, as I said earlier. You guys are going to be able to vote what we're going to do next. So, I want to know, guys, as you know, press the little button up there, you can vote. But this is it for the map so far. We haven't done much else, and uh, yeah, I guess the last part of the video is coming in next, guys. And lads, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you all did enjoy. And if you did, then smash the like button below. If we can hit, let's just do it this way, a thousand likes. If we hit a thousand likes, the next episode, I'm not joking, will be half an hour long. And I'll include so many more Pokemon, so many more areas. I'm going to include at least two routes and one full city. So two routes plus a city, that's essentially three episodes in one. If we can hit a thousand likes on this video, that'd be appreciated. That's what the goal is. If you guys want to see an actual huge ass episode, like a 30 minute episode, a fully fledged video for you guys, 30 minutes long, we can just enjoy it and just have a good time. But if you want to see that, guys, just drop a like down below and also comment down below answering all the questions I had. If you want to come up with any names, any suggestions, leave it down in the comment section below. But those of you out there who create artwork, sprites, fan art, anything you can come up with, Feel free to send it to this email on the screen right now, guys. This way you can go and check it out and just like send it to me, email it to me. It's only available through email. And if you send it, please email me just artwork that you create and sprites and whatnot. Or if you create music or anything like that you want to add, um, please leave it there. If you have any suggestions for IDs, then leave the IDs in the comment section instead. That's the best place to do that, guys. But either way, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, then smash the like button below, subscribe for future videos, and also, like I said, comment down below. And I will catch you all the next time. Bye-bye, trainers.